Morning everybody. Woke up with a bell cap on today so we thought we'd explain to you yet again the differences in the bell carbon range. Uh, principally the difference between the original M4 carbon which came out two or three years ago and the successor or the, the supposed successor uh, which is the M5 carbon or MX5 Daytona carbon. So there are at the moment two of each model. There is an M4 carbon which is carbon plain and simple uh, and then there is the M4 carbon Rosso which is a hand painted version of the original. Exactly the same shell but with hand paint and if you look at it closely you'll notice there's probably one or two things that don't actually line up brilliantly um, because it is, it is hand painted and hand assembled and stickered. Then in the M5 range which was introduced about 18 months ago, uh, originally intended only as a limited edition 1954 Bell Anniversary helmet. Uh, in this M5 shape, there are now two models. There's the standard M5 carbon, uh, and there is the new version, or an additional version, uh, which is the M5X Carbon Le Mans, which is a hand-painted version of the of the M5X carbon standard and this will actually come in silver and gold and you'll be able to choose between the two. Full carbon just happens to be hand painted. Anyway, what are the differences between the M4 shell and the M5 shell? Basically the M4 shell was the original bell design and just like the M4 Indy in fiberglass it's quite a round shell. Now what happened is that Bell began to develop a new shell which was a bit slimmer in proportions probably a bit more modern to be honest uh, and that formed the basis of the M5X carbon and the M5 Daytona's and Le Mans hand painted helmet so that basically both shells are the same in fiberglass M4 shell is the same in fiberglass shape M5X is the same in fiberglass shape this is the same as a Daytona that the M4 is the same as an Indy. So the, the thing that they have in common, all bell helmets, is that whether it's the rounder M4 shape or the narrower M5 shape, they both have a very short measurement front to back. This is typical of Latin helmets. And what people who've come from Japanese helmets might find is that they need to go up a size uh, to get the right fit on their forehead. So although Bell generally is quite a generous sized crash helmet, probably slightly bigger than the equivalent Arai, the measurement front to back is slightly shorter. So some people get pressure on their foreheads. So to alleviate that pressure, they then go up a size. And what happens is they get a bit more lateral movement. Uh, Arai traditionally, Arai and Shoei traditionally, pad their helmets out very substantially inside. Bell don't do that quite so much. So some people get put off by that lateral movement, but as I'm sure you're all aware, the Sharp test really said that what was critical was the cranial measurement. Anyway, so the differences between the 4 and the 5 are really shape. So the 5 was introduced to supersede the 4, but it didn't because so many people preferred the original. When you're looking at either of these two helmets, although most people prefer the look of the 5, quite a few, 50%, still go for the 4 purely on fit. There are very few other differences. Uh, the first question people always ask us is, what's the difference in weight? Well, despite the five costing another 100 quid over the four, there isn't any difference in weight. They're both allegedly 1,000 grams. I say allegedly because it's an Italian claim, but you have to say they really do feel it. In fact, their claims seem to be more accurate than some of the other non-Italian brands who claim similar weights for uh, factory machine made carbon rather than hand layer carbon. There are slight differences in the venting. The M4 vents are open and closable uh, and the M5 vents are fully open but uh, if anybody's found a helmet whose vents actually work then they're a better man than me because I don't even know where they are on the helmet I use. So uh, they're both fiberglass, uh, carbon fiber rather, so being carbon fiber they're, they're kind of not the quietest helmet on the market, they're not the loudest but you will never get a super quiet carbon fiber helmet purely because of the 
lightness of the material. So going back again just to recap, M4, the standard version, is only available in two colour schemes. That's the standard um, carbon with the black vents. This is new for 2010 and 2011. If you find one with grey vents, it's an older helmet. And the red lining, which is the current lining. This one has the older grey straps, but most of the new ones have red straps as well. Okay, then going on, the hand-painted version of that is called the Carbon Rosso. Uh, and this is just basically a hand-painted version of the standard helmet. And as I said, there are sometimes one or two little fluctuations. The stickers aren't always central. The vents aren't always quite lined up. Um, it's just a hand put, put together by hand, so it's not 100% machine measured accurate. The M5X, this is the one that everybody knows. Um, again, it just comes in this, it did come in just this one standard version up until now. Uh, and now, this year, two weeks ago, they introduced the Le Mans version. Doesn't look that great here with a clear visor, but it looks amazing with a dark visor. And uh, this will be available in the silver or the gold as, that, as the middle paint scheme. Prices depends where you get it from. Roughly um, three seven five for the for the standard carbon, four hundred for the Rosso, four fifty ish, four seven five for the M five X carbon, and around a full five hundred for the Le Mans. Um, they're all available with three point two clear visor, uh, a blue visor, which is kind of about twenty five thirty percent tint. It's not that dark. Um, the dark visor, oh, that's another blue one actually, must have run out of dark ones, or the gold iridium. One really cool feature of the Bell visors is that they look a lot darker than they are. And that's why you can tell a genuine Bell visor with its UV finish from a pattern copy or whatever, I don't know, maybe sold as a package uh, from internet to traders. These are original Bell visors, and when you buy a Bell helmet from a Bell dealer from a shop, you'll always get a Bell insignia visor. Um, you also get fantastic carry case with these helmets, and uh, you also get the chin uh, breath guard to go over here just to cover a little bit of your nose, chin guard to exclude uh, drafts. You get an individual warranty tag per helmet, which is numbered to that helmet and you get an Allen key. If all that's not in your bag, it should be. Uh, that's it, any questions?